Let's bring in Nancy uh, Tangler, CEO of Laffer Tangler Investments, who's joining us by phone. Nancy, welcome. Good to have you with us. I don't know how much of the preceding conversation you've been able to hear, but, uh, but equities have had a pretty doggone good week. And Surratt points out that uh, one of the good parts of it is that the market seems to be broadening out. Yeah, no, agreed 100 percent. And I, and I think we started seeing that uh, in the summer, really, when, when we got the tech swoon uh, and tech stocks sold off. And even a little bit before that, you started to see the broadening out into industrials and some of the consumer uh, discretionary names. But then, you know, after the election, we saw financials. Um, and I didn't hear, so if I'm repeating what Surat said, I apologize. But uh, we're, we're pretty happy with earnings season and how, you know, we saw not only that the estimates beat, well, they always do, right, two-thirds of the time, but, um, you know, doubled estimates from Wall Street, and we saw margins expanding. I, I think this is a pretty sweet spot for equities for the next couple of years. And a sweet spot for the U.S., right? Absolutely. Yep. We're, we're underweight uh, global equities uh, pretty significantly, and we did that a number of years ago. But uh, yeah, I think you want, you know, if, if we get any of the impact like we saw from the Tax Cut Jobs Act, so if the president, the new administration is actually able to go in and cut corporate tax rates further, we'll see um, continued improvement in margins, uh, continued improvement in earnings growth. And, and the government will benefit because corporate receipts doubled from $200 billion to $400 billion under the TCJA. So I think that could be pretty compelling uh, as an equity investor. Was that just because to hang in there. Do, you, do you believe that was because the, the uh, corporate tax rate came down and it spurred growth or because there was repatriation of profits it was and, it was a, and it was a one-time kind of hit, uh, uh, benefit? I, I think it was both, uh, Tyler. I mean, we certainly there was repatriation, uh, and we started to see on, reshoring and onshoring. So I think, I, I mean, it's hard to know, but it, that has sustained at four hundred billion through last year. So I think the one-time effect would have been in the in the earlier years, and we're continuing to see growth in, cap, in corporate tax receipts. So, you know, that that is good for everybody. And if we continue to see productivity improve, uh, and that's what we've been hanging our hat on, as mm -hmm. you know, this will be one of those economies like we saw in the 90s where you can get, you can kind of coexist with higher rates and maybe higher than expected inflation or higher than target inflation uh, if you get the productivity driven growth that we think we're going to get, continue and to get. Nancy, one thing that um, Steve Auth said in passing that I thought was interesting uh, was he said he thinks next year could be the year of software and he owns Salesforce because of that. And of course, a lot of people have walked away from this segment entirely thinking that AI is going to kind of put it out of business. I don't know if you have a position on that or if there's stocks there that you think are interesting and kind of worth having in the portfolio. Yeah, no, definitely. We uh, In our 12 Best Ideas portfolio, we own um, ServiceNow. We own uh, Adobe, which mm. has not been a best idea lately. <laughs> um, and we also own, uh, you know, Amazon and Microsoft. As and, th and that's really it on the software side. So we, we are big believers. Uh, Microsoft has taken a big, long uh, pause. And so we, we would expect to see some acceleration in stock performance in that stock uh, next year. So I'm 100% I'm, I'm there. And we've already seen it. ServiceNow has been a, a workhorse. Um, in, in our portfolios. It's just, it just continues to outperform because the CEO continues to outperform. So I do think you want to own those names that are directing traffic and really driving um, the cloud computing portion of generative AI.